Clear vision makes all the difference. Choosing the right visualization system for your OR is an important decision. Explore how the Elevision 4K Plus platform can help provide a complete laparoscopic solution for your MIS procedures. Many components are available to use with the 4K Plus platform. 4K medical grade monitor, the 4K camera control unit and camera head, the LED light source, tip vision video scope, 4K laparoscopes, the insufflator. The Elevision 4K Plus platform also includes a laparoscopic suction irrigation pump, a video recorder and a printer that you can add to your tower as needed. It is important to remember that the pump, recorder and printer are optional components and the pump is not available for purchase in the United States or Canada. Understanding how the components work together is key to understanding how the Elevision 4K Plus platform can help provide a true advantage in your OR. Let's take a closer look at the components that make up the system. The Elevision Medical Grade Monitor has a high-definition 4K 31-inch widescreen LCD 2D color screen with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. The camera system offers a 16 by 9 4K image using progressive scanning at 3840 by 2160. The Tip Vision video scope features dual chip-on-tip technology. The distal end of the video scope features a distal CMOS sensor, integrated LED lights, and a scratch-resistant sapphire glass cover. The Elevision 4K Plus laparoscopes are specifically designed for 4K visualization and are available in 5 and 10 millimeter diameters and in 0, 30, and 45 degree viewing angles. The Elevision LED light source provides white light with a color rendering index greater than 90 and includes auto light control function. The MetaCapture MVR Pro is a specialized yet easy to use medical video recorder. It features full HD and 4K recording at 60 frames per second and allows network flow capabilities like DICOM and PAX. The Sony printer is another component in the platform. It was designed to be integrated into medical imaging systems and produce hard copy prints of still images that are captured. The Elevision platform connects to a 50-liter gas heating insufflator with four specialty presets that include standard, pediatric, bariatric, and vessel harvest operating modes. Now that you're familiar with the components that make up the Elevision 4K Plus platform, I'll walk you through everything you need to know for installation and setup. Prior to setting up your Elevision 4K Plus platform and performing the initial operation and function checks, make sure you've thoroughly reviewed the instructions for use for each system component and have them easily available for reference. Making sure you properly install and set up your system is crucial. I'll take you through each of the steps necessary to make your system operational. To start, I'll walk you through getting the cart set up adding components and connecting them. I'll start with the monitor and CCU, then add your light source. Next, I'll show you how to connect the MetaCapture and the printer. I'll finish with the insufflator and pump. First, you'll need to mount the monitor to the cart. Keep in mind, you'll want to make sure you have adequate space around the unit for ventilation and servicing. Recommended measurements can be found in the instructions for use. Place the light source on the cart. Once this is complete, add the CCU to the cart, making sure that the ventilation slots are not obstructed and the main power switch on the rear of the device is accessible. You can then connect the light source to your CCU using the MIS bus cable. This allows you to control the light source using the camera head as well as activating the auto light control function. When using the tip vision video scope, an additional light source is not needed as it has integrated LED lights at the tip of the scope. Whether you have one or multiple monitors, 
You'll need to start by connecting the four 3G SDI cables to the four 3G SDI outputs for 4K UHD on the back of the CCU. If you have multiple monitors, they can be connected and used simultaneously with the Elevision 4K Plus platform. Remember, you will need a second 3G SDI cable to connect your secondary monitor. Next, you'll need to route the cables from the CCU to your monitor. Be careful to avoid tripping or entanglement hazards during this step. Secure the cables at both ends to avoid inadvertent disconnection and make sure cable sequencing is correct to avoid an improper image being displayed on the monitor. Lastly, adjust the physical orientation of the monitor as necessary for optimal viewing for your surgical team. If you are planning to record videos and capture images in 4K, add the MetaCapture device and the converter box to the cart. If you are recording video or capturing still images in HD resolution, connect your camera control unit to the MVR Pro using an SDI HDMI cable, which is included in the MVR Pro packaging. Three G SDI cables from the camera control unit should route to the converter box and the converter box should be connected to the monitor using another set of 3G SDI cables. Once that is complete, add the printer to the bottom shelf of the cart. To prepare the printer, you'll need to connect the USB cable to the printer and the MVR Pro. Then connect the power cord. Once it's connected, secure the cable stopper. After connecting the printer to the MVR Pro, turn on the printer. Before you can begin printing, you'll need to load the paper and ink ribbon. Make sure you're using compatible ink ribbon and paper and pull out the media tray, which is normally locked in place. To unlock, simply pull the lever. Next, separate the two spools of the ink ribbon and load in the media tray, keeping in mind the positioning. Pink and blue paper holders were provided with your printer. Set the selector for the blue paper holder. Insert the ends of the paper roll into the holders. The pink paper holder should be at the end with the matching pink adhesive label and the blue paper holder by the blue label. Load the paper roll in the media tray and carefully peel the adhesive labels from the paper roll in the direction indicated by the arrows. Then insert the media tray into the printer, making sure to push it until it clicks into place. Now you're ready to print. Next, place the insufflator on the cart. To connect the insufflator to the CO2 tank or central gas supply, use a high pressure tube. Fix the high pressure tube to the rear gas inlet connection with the nut and tighten. Connect the potential equalization connectors on the rear of the devices. Now that you completed your installation, it's time to program components and perform initial operation and function checks to make sure all devices are in full working order. I'll walk you through the steps you'll need to complete to ensure your platform is ready to go. Once that's complete, ensure that the cart's main power cable is connected to a wall plug and switch the cart's main power on. Power on the CCU and light source using the power switches at the back of each device. This step will bring the light source to standby mode. To power on the CCU, you'll need to press the on standby button on the front of the device. You can also switch on all supplemental devices at this time, such as a recording device. Connecting your camera head to the CCU requires you to slide the connector plug into the connector socket on the device until it clicks into place. 
To connect the laparoscope to the camera head, press together the two locking mechanisms on the endocoupler to spread apart the retaining clips. Insert the laparoscope, including the eyepiece cup, and release the locking mechanisms. Then secure the laparoscope using the locking device on the endocoupler. It's important to note that all laparoscopes with a standard DIN ISO 8603 eyepiece can be connected to the camera head. Next, connect your laparoscope to the light guide. When connecting a light guide, it is important to note that different light guides require different adapters to connect to the laparoscope. Once you ensure you have the right adapters, make sure the light source is in standby mode. It will be on the front of the device and illuminated in blue. In this mode, the LCD screen will prompt you to enter your light guide. Keep the light source in standby mode until the distal end of the light cable is connected to the laparoscope. The proximal end of the light cable can now be connected to the light source. Make sure the standby button on the front is still illuminated blue. Next, you can switch the light source from standby to on by pressing the button on the front of the CCU. Once pressed, the standby button will be illuminated white and the LCD screen will be activated. You can also turn the light source on from the camera head. The system operates in auto mode. If you want to switch to manual mode, press the up and down buttons to adjust the light intensity. To set your white balance, start by directing the laparoscope at a white object approximately five centimeters away. Your white object can be a piece of paper, linens, or any other objects that are solid white in color. Next, press the white balance button on the front of the CCU or the white balance button on the camera head. Once your white balance has been set, the message white balance OK will display on your monitor, allowing you to move on to the next step. To set focus, you'll need to point your laparoscope at an object in the room and adjust the front ring on the camera head until the image comes into focus. Verify that the monitor shows a sharp, good quality image. Do not use the platform if the monitor image has any anomalies like vertical lines, color variations, or flickers. Once you have a good quality image, use the rear ring on the camera head to set the desired zoom. Point the laparoscope at a structure with a sharp outline and adjust the front ring on the camera head to focus the image displayed on the monitor. Once the focus has been set, you shouldn't have to adjust the focus when zooming. The image should remain sharp. Lastly, note that the camera head and video scope buttons can be programmed to trigger different functions by pressing quickly or by holding down for approximately two seconds. The buttons can be fully programmed in the menu, but there are a few restrictions you'll need to keep in mind. First, it is not possible to change the way in which the menu itself is opened. It is activated by holding down the button. Second, switching on and off the light source, selective color enhancement, smoke reduction, and white balance can only be assigned to buttons one and two. For more detailed instructions, visit Medtronic.com. To use tip vision, connect the video scope to the camera control unit by sliding the connector plug into the socket. When using 30-degree tip vision, turning the proximal end, which is the light blue section, should be used for horizontal orientation. The video scope is in its home position if the tips of the triangle indicators are facing each other. The indicators are situated in the front of the video scope buttons on the handpiece and the horizon holder. To rotate the 30-degree scope, you'll need to hold the horizon holder, which is the dark blue section, in its horizontal orientation. Turn the handpiece to the left or right until you have found the desired viewing range and finally go back to the home position again. Turn the handpiece until the tips of the two triangles are facing each other. The monitor will display a live image of your viewing range. When using tip vision, white balancing is not necessary unless the colors look unnatural. Tip vision is focus free.
To enter patient data, you'll need to create a new patient profile in the platform. This should be done at the start of every procedure. This ensures that the photo captures and video recordings taken during the procedure are saved in a separate file folder specific to that patient. A keyboard can be connected to the CCU in order to enter patient data. If you need help connecting a keyboard, please see your instructions for use. Connect a USB storage device in FAT32 format to the front of the CCU, ensuring the USB has enough disk space to save any photos and recordings made during your session. Press the menu button on the front of the CCU and hold for about two seconds to display the main menu on the monitor. You have the option to use the buttons on either the front of the CCU or camera head, or use the connected keyboard for this step. Whether you intend to enter new patient data or not, you'll need to use the arrow buttons and select the Enter button to get to the patient menu. This generates a folder on the USB storage device where your photo captures and recordings for the subsequent session will be saved. If you are ready to enter new patient data, navigate to the first field using the down arrow button. If you're using a keyboard, type in the required data. Next, press the enter button to go to the next field and repeat until all desired fields are complete. Confirm your selections and save your entries using the right arrow button. Your patient data is now saved. Next up, I'll walk you through taking a photo. Capturing a photo using the Elevision 4K Plus platform is quite simple. The first step in capturing a photo is connecting a USB storage device to the front of the CCU. You'll want to make sure to choose a device with ample storage space in FAT32 format. There are multiple ways you can capture a photo. You can either press the photo capture button on the front of the CCU or press the menu button on the camera head. You can also capture an image using a foot switch if connected to the CCU. The indicator on the monitor will show a freeze frame of the photo you've captured for approximately one half second your photo is automatically saved to your USB storage device upon capture. Similarly to capturing a photo, to record video, you'll need to connect a USB storage device with ample disk space to the front of the CCU. Make sure you have a USB in FAT32 format. To initiate creation of a new video recording, you can either press the video capture button on the front of the CCU, press the assigned button on the camera head, or use a foot switch that is connected to the CCU, allowing you to capture video hands-free. Once the video capture has started, your monitor will display a symbol that shows recording is in progress. To end a video recording, simply press the video capture button again, use your foot switch, or press the assign button on the camera head. This will end recording. Once you've ended the recording, your video is automatically saved to your USB storage device. It is saved in HD quality as a default. In order to save in 4K quality video, you must use an external device such as MVR Pro. When using MetaCapture, enter the patient data at the start of each procedure using the touchscreen monitor on the MVR Pro. Simply hit the Start button and input patient data. You are ready to start recording or capturing images. You can assign camera head buttons to capture an image or record a video. For this, make sure the MVR Pro remote cable is attached to the device. The remote cable has two split cables at the end, one labeled as Motion and the other as Still. Connect the Still end to remote out one port and motion end to remote out two port at the back of the camera control unit. Now you can program your camera head buttons. Tip vision buttons are pre-programmed to take a picture by briefly tapping on button two and to start and stop video by pressing and holding down button three. If you want to take pictures or record videos using MetaCapture, you'll need to assign buttons for these functions. Refer to the instructions for use for more information. You can print your pictures when MVR Pro is in use. 
Once the procedure is completed, go to the archive and select the pictures and format you want to print. Select the report button, followed by the print button. Keeping your Elevision 4K Plus platform in great condition and providing safe and high quality patient care requires ongoing cleaning and sterilization. After using the platform, you'll need to prepare the components for reprocessing. Remove and discard insufflator tube set, filter, suction irrigation tubing, and any protective sheathing or sterile draping you may have. Uncouple the laparoscope, camera head and light guide, and detach all detachable parts, including the light guide adapters. Remember that the endocoupler is permanently attached to the camera head and should not and cannot be detached during the cleaning and sterilization process. Disconnect the camera head and light guide from the CCU. Look at the device and remove all visible surgical residue using a moist, lint-free wipe. Arrange for reprocessing of the light guide, laparoscope, camera head, and adapters if used. Thank you for choosing the Elevision 4K Plus platform for your hospital's visualization needs. For further information on this product, please contact your Medtronic representative or visit medtronic.com slash elevision4k plus.